the, the clearest uh, outcome of our work is that uh, our tobacco control efforts saves money and saves lives. Um, we know nationally uh, nearly a half a million people uh, die um, in the U.S. due to tobacco use. In New York State, it's uh, between 25 and 30,000 people. Human beings are dying from a product that is sold legally. Um, there's no safe level of tobacco use. The other point is that uh, we know that in uh, Medicare and, and health dollars and time lost, um, we lose about 10, close to $10 billion a year um, in uh, New York State. Um, and uh, that tobacco spends uh, billions uh, nationally um, each year to assure that their products are visible, even though there's been a near complete ban on uh, traditional advertising. Um, they own the front counters of every store and there's hundreds of thousands of retail outlets. There's something like 17,000 retail outlets uh, in New York State alone. Um, you know, there's, one would wonder why. Why is it? And the only point is, is that so that there's um, uh, visibility for young people to see it and, and know, feel like there's some normalcy about it and availability so that anybody that's thinking about needing a cigarette know that they don't have to go very far to get it because uh, even those that quit say that seeing a cigarette is a trigger to make them want to go back to smoking. And uh, you, can, you can bet on it. We've seen eye tracking studies that we do right here at Roswell that people cannot look away from that wall of tobacco behind uh, the counter in every uh, cash register stop you make in all the stores. And thank goodness we took them out of pharmacies, uh, at least in New York State. Uh, we can only hope that they would go nationally. I mean, why would you have a product that kills people at the front counter um, when the me medication they sell it is happening at the prescription counter. So, um, you know, that's one message. Um, and the other important point is uh, that our tobacco companies would love to see our work go away. But without our steady uh, education advocacy and, and community level policy change, we would not have this broader um, statewide and national awareness that our program uh, brings each day. Uh, when local and state programs are cut back, we've seen the use of tobacco start to creep back up. And that's, what I'm, that's what's most important is that our steady drumbeat and our steady boots on the ground um, hammering the message so that we're sitting in community health meetings, um, assuring that we're on their CHIPS agenda of uh, you know, the community health improvement programs, um, that tobacco is not forgotten um, haven't we solved that problem yet? People ask us that one. Well, no, we know, you know, you and I know, Chris knows uh, um, it, the battle is long from over and where it might cost $50 to treat someone using um, nicotine replacement, it costs 50000 to bring someone into a bed at Roswell to treat them for lung cancer and tobacco-related diseases take up a third of our beds.